Good morning! It is so early. It's 6.25 right now. Luca and I are going on an adventure. Where is she? There she is. She, she looks really sad because she just left Annie and they get really worried about leaving each other. But she and I are going to Lakeland, which is in Central Florida, where I grew up um, for a little while before I grew up in Sarasota and going to stay with one of my best friends who is I think eight months pregnant with twin girls and her family's leaving um, to go on a trip to her cousin's graduation and she can't stay by herself and her husband's going fishing. Um, she can't stay by herself and she can't travel so I'm going to be the one staying with her. So, I'm really looking forward to it because we have not gotten to have a sleepover in a million, million, million years. Um, but yeah, last night I didn't go to bed till like three, got up at five. So, I'm pretty tired, but um, I'm really, really excited. So hopefully I can just take a nap a little bit later. Mom packed me breakfast, which was really sweet. Um, and she knows that I usually have yogurt and blueberries sometimes. But what she doesn't know is that I usually put honey on it. Um, because she doesn't like yogurt and she also doesn't like honey. So I guess she didn't think about it. Um, and it's so sour <laughs> because it's plain yogurt. So I'm trying to, uh, eat it as much as I can before I get on the interstate. We are almost there, but something just came on the radio that I wanted to ask you guys about. Is anybody watching Eurovision? Oh my gosh. I, yeah, I have two pairs of glasses on. Um, <laughs> my driving glasses are not sunglasses, so I look like a dweeb. But um, yeah, a friend of mine from college he and his family love it, and I just heard a couple of the songs um, previewed on the radio. So, if you're in Europe, what's the deal with that? Or if you're watching it in America, how did you get into it? I think some of the music is kind of fun, and some of it's really silly. We're at the doctor's office right now, and we're going to go get a new sonogram. So, I'm really excited to see what the babies look like in there. We got Kate and Connor. Here we go. So today, I found out that Kate loves buy one, get one free. Yeah. Buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free. Buy one twin. <laughs> get the other twin free. Was there a coupon on those two? No. <laughs> oh, Jessie put tax in my seat the first day I met her. <laughs> at we school. were eight years old. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's oh, making I'm death sauce, he calls it. Liquid. <laughs> Liquid death. Volcano. That's hot. <laughs> Don't forget the mash over the corner. Okay. <laughs> Fermenting <laughs> habaneros. Some rough stuff. That's uh, a... And those two little jars. That's not pasta sauce. Yeah, that whole colander was full of habaneros and it blended down to just that. Oh my gosh. And we'll let it ferment for a couple of months. You would not want to put that on your pasta by accident. Yes, that right there is concentrated evil. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a painting, right? It's completely made of embroidery. Kate made it. Even the black, all the black, with individual stitches. Oh, 
Oh darn it. Emma won that round. Emma's definitely like 40 times stronger than Lucas. Both have a stick. I was trying to blow bubbles outside and the bubbles were super old and they weren't working so I'm going to try to make it out of a recipe that involves this, this, and water. Trade me your ice cream for the bubbles. You got hold it by the bottom. You got any on it? Tilt it a little bit. There you go. Can you on there? Yeah. Okay. Darn it. What should we do? How to pick up a girl who's out running. Drive by and yell something, the first thing that comes to your mind, out the window. Two, if that doesn't work, make sure that you slap her in the face with the wave of cologne billowing from your window. If you do this properly, she will be yours forever.